I'm sure that in recent videos, you guys, I'm not, I'm not sure if you actually noticed this, but I'm always wearing this around my neck. You're probably wondering, what is that that you're wearing around your neck? Probably too small for you to see it, but it's the Miraculous Medal. What is the Miraculous Medal? I'm so glad you asked. This little booklet here will tell you everything you need to know about the Miraculous Medal. It is a gift of heaven. That's what it says here. A gift of heaven. The Miraculous Medal. The image of Mary herself. The Medal of the Immaculate Conception, popularly known as the Miraculous Medal, is unique among all medals. It was given by the Blessed Virgin herself. No wonder, then, that it wins such extraordinary graces for those who wear it and pray for Mary's intercession and help. Our Lady manifested the medal of St. Catherine Labore, a daughter of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul, on November 27, 1830, in the mother house of the sisters in Paris. Catherine saw Our Lady standing on a globe, her right foot stood on top of the head of a serpent. This is what God said that she would do in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, the first prophecy of the Savior. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. <clears throat> Besides this, there were dazzling rays of light streaming from her outstretched hands. These are the graces given to those who, with confidence, ask for them. Framing the figure was an inscription, O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Then Mary spoke to Catherine, Have a medal struck upon this model. Those who wear it will receive great graces, especially if they wear it around the neck, like I do right now. The vision then seemed to turn to show the reverse side of the medal. Around the medal were twelve stars, representing the twelve apostles and twelve tribes of Israel. The letter M, for Mary, was surmounted by a cross with a bar at its base signifying Mary on earth at the foot of the cross holding them up to, holding them up to us. Below this monogram was the sacred heart of Jesus crowned with thorns, and the immaculate heart of Mary pierced with a sword. These signify the great love and sacrifice of Jesus and Mary for us. With the approval of the church, the first medals were made in 1832 and were distributed in Paris. Almost immediately, the blessings that Mary had promised began to shower down on those who wore her medal, and soon all of France was clamoring for what the people referred to as the miraculous medal. Billions of medals, and over 180 years later, the medal now blankets the world. Everywhere, the medal is still bringing God's blessings for those who wear it. And I myself wear the Miraculous Medal myself. And I wouldn't say that something like supernatural has ever happened to me as a result of wearing this, but I still feel in many ways that the Blessed Virgin does watch over me and showers me with graces and blessings as I wear it around my neck. And also, there is a Novena Prayer for the Miraculous Medal. And for those of you who don't know, a Novena prayer is a prayer that is prayed about nine times. And that's what I'm going to do in this video, is pray the Novena prayer to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. So I will be saying this about nine times. So I hope that you have the patience of Job. Please bear with me. Immaculate, Immaculate Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, you are the mother of Jesus and my mother. Through the miraculous medal, you have encouraged us to have great confidence in your intercession. And so I now come to you in total trust to present to you my petition for a life filled with many blessings. That's the request that I mentioned because after you say that word petition, that's where you make your request. And my request is for my life to be showered with many blessings. Obtain for me also the grace of a holy life that I may always give glory to God. Amen. Immaculate Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, you are the mother of Jesus and my mother. Through the miraculous medal, you have encouraged us to have great confidence in your intercession. And so I now come to you in total trust to present to you my petition, to, li to live a life filled with many blessings. Obtain for me also the grace of, ho of a holy life, that I may always give glory to God. 
Amen. Immaculate Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, you are the mother of Jesus and my mother. Through the miraculous medal, you have encouraged us to have great confidence in your intercession. And so I now come to you in total trust to present to you my petition to live a life of many blessings. Obtain for me also the grace of a holy life, that I may always give glory to God. Amen. Immaculate Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, you are the mother of Jesus and my mother. Through the miraculous medal, you have encouraged us to have great confidence in your intercession. And so I now come to you in total trust to present to you my petition that I may live a life filled with many blessings. Obtain for me also the grace of a holy life, that I may always give glory to God. Amen. Immaculate Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, you are the mother of Jesus and my mother. Through the miraculous medal, you have encouraged us to have great confidence in your intercession. And so I now come to you in total trust to present to you my petition, to live a life that's filled with many blessings. Obtain for me also the grace of a holy family, that I may always give glory to God. Amen. Immaculate Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, you are the mother of Jesus and my mother. Through the miraculous medal, you have encouraged us to have great confidence in your intercession. And so I now come to you in total trust to present to you my petition to live a life filled with many blessings. Obtain for me also the grace of a holy life, that I may always give glory to God. Amen. Immaculate Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, you are the mother of Jesus and my mother. Through the miraculous medal, you have encouraged us to have great confidence in your intercession. And so I now come to you in total trust to present to you my petition to live a life filled with many blessings. Obtain for me also the grace of a holy life, that I may always give glory to God. Amen. Immaculate Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, you are the mother of Jesus and my mother. Through the miraculous medal, you have encouraged us to have great confidence in your intercession. And so I now come to you in total trust to present to you my petition that I may live a blessed and graceful life. Obtain for me also the grace of a holy life that I may always give glory to God. Amen. Immaculate Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, you are the mother of Jesus and my mother. Through the miraculous medal, you have encouraged us to have great confidence in your intercession. And so I now come to you in total trust to present to you my petition to live a life filled with many blessings. Obtain for me also the grace of a holy life that I may always give glory to God. Amen. Immaculate Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, you are the mother of Jesus and my mother. Through the miraculous medal, you have encouraged us to have great confidence in your intercession. And so I now come to you in, in total trust to present to you my petition to, be, to live a life filled with many blessings. Obtain for me also the grace of a holy life, that I may always give glory to God. Amen. I'm going to say it just one more time. I've already done it nine times, but I'm going to do it an extra time because the first time I explained the mention your request part of the prayer, and I just felt like it was it was interrupting. So I'm saying it one more time. Immaculate Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, you are the mother of Jesus and my mother. Through the miraculous medal, you have encouraged us to have great confidence in your intercession. And so I now come to you in total trust to present to you my petition to live a life that is filled with many blessings. Obtain for me also the grace of a holy life that I may always give glory to God. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. It is my hope and prayer that by watching this video you have learned something new about a Catholic prayer and how a Catholic prayer really does help people who have faith in Jesus Christ, especially in a world that's filled with sorrow and despair and tears. Sometimes we refer to it as the Valley of Tears. So I hope and pray that you learn something new and that this enriches your life and your spiritual journey and that hopefully you now have a prayer that you can say that when you are in your dark and loneliest periods in life, you at least have someone to turn to. 
And it is my hope and prayer that you will grow in your spiritual journey and you will grow closer and closer to Jesus Christ and the saints. In Jesus' name, it is my prayer. Amen. The video has ended. Go forth now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.